things Ian from RTO here welcome to a one-off album review and today I have got you a little gem I would be very surprised if any of you have heard of this unless you have a certain age and you live in the UK we're talking about this an album called Across the Water by Cougar now Cougar are a band from Wales um, they originated around about 1918 they, they were called Preacher I believe uh, and then they changed their name to Cougar now the band is Neville MacDonald, Neil Garland, David Howells and Martin Williams Neville is lead guitars and vocals Neil Garland is the keyboards, David Howells is bass and Martin Williams plays the drums. They decided to leave the comfort of Wales and started touring around the UK. And now I saw them in lots of pubs. That's where I first saw them. Uh, they played at a pub that was my, one of my local pubs called the Five Bells in Northampton. It's still there, not a rock venue anymore, I'm sorry to say. Uh, they played in the King Billy, which is a uh, legend pub in Northampton. They played in the Harbour Lights. They played everywhere. And in 1986, they released this. It doesn't get played very much. It's on a label called the High Dragon Records. Uh it's a very good album it's although it was made in 1986 it's uh the sound on it is not your usual 80s production because you know this is the band that couldn't afford all the fancy stuff this is just plugging in go stuff um it did get some uh reviews kerrang favored it and they played the prestigious reading festival in 1987 and then it sort of went downhill, which is a shame, really, because this album's good. They had a lineup changes, which I don't know about, because there's not much information out there. This has all come from a lot of it's come from memory and talking to the guys. <laughs> but I did find out this bit about uh, Reading, though. Um, so let's go through this. This album, uh, I've put. I'm going to put the whole album as a playlist, so you can listen to it. Um, and personally, if you want to, if you like it, and you want to take it off my feed, I've got no problem with that because you, you, if you, you'll never get a version of this. Um, so the first track is the title track, uh, which is called "Across the Water." This has got this weird sound effect start, and then you get this really heavy bass line that comes from David Howells. And um, then the guitars come in, a little bit of riffing, uh, some great drumming on this. And the keyboard sound, it's not that usual 80s keyboard sound either, it's quite a dramatic sound. It's a brilliant track. Absolutely stunning stuff. Really love this track I mean that when they used to play they used to play a lot of this album and then some covers as well so you got a mixture of covers and their own stuff they were a terrific band and terrific lads um, I don't know if I've got a picture of them on the back yep yeah, there is a picture of them on the back they were terrific boys had a lot of fun with them they really appreciated us following them um, second track is called lifeline it's got it starts off with some drums and keyboards it's a great track it's got a real hooky tune and uh, again another track that they used to do and was very popular uh, then we got a track called fall from grace it's got a little bit of 80s keyboard on this but it don't take it away from the track it is really good Neville MacDonald had a really good voice uh, it was funny because when he spoke, he was proper thick Welsh. That lovely Welsh accent. <laughs> but when he sang, you wouldn't think so. Uh, it's a really good track. Um, 
like that one a lot as well. Then we got Lay Down Your Love. Very out 80s sounding. Um, but it, it sounds a lot better live, which uh, there's no live clippage of these because well, it wasn't around in them days in pubs, was it? Um, but it's, it's an OK track. Probably the weakest track on the album. Um, then we got a um, instrumental called Lockjaw. It's brilliant. Great guitar work here from Nev. Good guitarist he was, and really good um, guitarist. Uh, they were so loud. I mean, some of the bands, the pubs, I saw them, and they weren't that big, and you couldn't hear yourself think when they played that, but it's brilliant. Then we get She Walks in Beauty. At, again, it's a really, really good track. Um, it's very 80s. Don't get me wrong, this is not modern day rock. This is this was this was an album for the time and that's what makes it such a brilliant album. Because it's no fancy stuff, but they've still got this that eighties feel to it. It's a great track. Then we get Gabriel, which is a ballad. There's too much keyboard on this, but when they used to play it live you didn't really notice the keyboard because the guitars were so loud. And the drums. Then we get I've like I've never known a last track on the album. It, it's very eighties again, but it's raw. There's none of this mutt lang smoothing out, taking everything out. It's just plug, go, record. Absolutely incredible now I think this is a one off album it's a little gem and it's a part of my growing up um, you know they, it's a shame they never got any bigger because I think they could have gone on and made a few good albums with the right producer um, you know I brought the album in the pub you know it's <laughs> not in a record shop and I think it's a brilliant album. I love it to bits. So if you want to have a good li listen to it, it is in a play the playlist. So give that a listen. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of eight point five because it's just it's just a great little album, a little gem of an album. Okay then, that's all for this week. Um, Although it's a bank holiday here in the UK, I'll still be here Monday and we're going to look at the first band of next week will be Grand Funk Railroad, a little rock band from America from the 70s and classic album next week is probably one of the, it's considered one of the first and most influential psychedelic rock albums, uh, Surrealist, Surrealistic Pillow by Jefferson Airplane. So everyone have a great weekend. Uh, thank you for all your support and thank you for the new people that subscribed. And if this is the first time you're watching and you think, oh Cougar, I remember them. We do this sort of thing. I find a little gem from my my youth. Um, if you like what you what we're doing, don't forget to sub subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. I will see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye for now.